हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस इन जर्मनी एंड एज एवरीवन नो द हेल्थ सिस्टम इन जर्मनी इज फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट एंड दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इज राइट और रॉन्ग वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इन दिस टॉपिक एंड विथ दैट एडवांटेज एंड डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस वी विल डिस्कस ऑल ऑफ दिस टॉपिक इन दिस वीडियो तो प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड एंड होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक इट प्लीज लाइक कॉमेंट शेयर एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट हेलो I want to say that it's not a free of cost health system in Germany but you don't need to pay any money when you go to the doctors at that time we will discuss this whole process now so now we will tell you the whole process and first of all do you want to tell something to my audience before we start i would like to clarify or just uh, notice that we are not any professional consultant regarding health insurance what i say in this video is only from my experience since last 6 years that i have gathered from my knowledge so if you need professional advice then of definitely you should go to the health insurance company they will be able to advise you better but what we discuss in this video is only going to be of what i have experienced since last 6 years in my in germany so first of all we will discuss about student health insurance in germany so can you tell us the what is the perfect time for applying student health insurance and uh, how can they should apply yeah so when a student comes from a different country to germany for studying purpose then they need the student health insurance and once you arrive in germany you will have to apply for the health insurance but before coming also you for the visa purpose you will need to buy a travel health insurance but that is a different thing and once you are here and then you go to uh, extend your visa mm. then you will have to show your health insurance uh, registration so like after landing one or two days after landing generally students go for registration at the rathaus mm. and before that they need to get registered for the health insurance so okay. that's when they should immediately register for the health insurance uh, how much a student has to pay for this insurance every month so it depends upon the insurance company so there are different types of insurance public insurance private insurance and uh, for students the public insurance is uh, costlier than the private insurances uh, when i was a student it was uh, the public insurance it was around 80 euros per month i think right now it's definitely around 100 euros mm. and for the private insurances there are cheaper options for students but the uh, student they have to be careful while choosing those options because some things are not covered in the private insurances mm. and there are some things like when you go to the doctor you will have to pay yourself first and then the private insurance company will refund you mm. so such con- conditions are there with the private insurance companies so they might be cheaper but then you will have to give out money from yourself initially okay. so Uh, right now i think the public insurance is around 100 euros per month okay so now we will discuss about the health insurance for working people what is the procedure for working people to enroll in health insurance so for working people uh, most of the time the hr will do that part so if a person was studying in germany and then he got a job he or she got a job in a company they can continue their student insurance and then convert it to a different one when they are working and most of the time the hr takes care of it so they don't have to do their those things themselves just mm. when they join a company the hr will also ask for their health insurance details if they already have one or if they don't have already one then they the hr will apply for them okay. and if they already have one then the hr ask the details of the existing insurance and then things get automatically 
dot with our business company. Okay. So how much an employee have to pay for this insurance every month? Uh, again, it depends upon the type of insurance. So for public insurance, you don't have to pay anything extra. So it depends upon your salary. Some percentage of your salary gets deducted automatically from your monthly salary into that health insurance account. But if you have private insurance, then you will have to choose yourself. Like what coverage do you want? How many people do you have in your family, mm. etc. So depending upon that, the cost will vary. So okay. if you are a single person, then maybe it will be like 250 euro mm. for one person. If you go with the basic basic plan, mm. but that might change depending upon your family. If you have children, then you will have to pay separately for the private insurance. Okay. But for public insurance, you don't have to pay separately. Mm -hmm. The same amount that you pay from your salary will cover for the whole family, like your wife and also and the children. Mm -hmm. So, what are the difference between private health insurance and public health insurance? Mm -hmm. Public health insurance is a mandatory health insurance. They call it as it's just Frank and Ferdikarong. <laughs> so that is mandatory. So if you are a resident of Germany, you must have a health insurance, and then they took the, take the public health insurance. Mm. And and the, the public health insurance covers most of the things. Uh, so it covers any kind of operation, any kind of doctor visit that you need to go, mm. any kind of operation that you might need, mm. any kind of emergency situation that you might have. So all those things things are definitely covered by the public health insurance uh, so for public health insurance you don't need to pay additionally for your family members okay. so what if a person is working and he or she only needs to pay one part of his or her salary to the insurance contribution mm. and then this insurance covers everyone that belongs to his or her family for example their spouse Hmm. or any children that he or she might have okay but for pub, but for the private health insurance uh, that is not the case you have to register each and every person in your household additionally and then also you have to pay separately for them hmm. so the the contribution is higher okay and then also regarding registration in private health insurance you cannot register a private health insurance unless you are earning a minimum threshold amount of salary Mm. I think for this year it's around 62,000 euros per year. Mm. So only if you are earning that amount, then only you can enroll into a private health insurance plan. Okay. Unless you must enroll into the public, public health insurance. Public health insurance. insurance. Mm. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of private health insurance? Private health insurance offers some extra advantage. For example, it covers uh, additional dental insurance. Generally, the public health insurance does not cover everything related to dental. I mean, the basic things are covered if you need a filling or if you need a dental operation, those things are covered. But if you need a root canal surgery or you need a crown on your tooth, such things are not covered by the basic public health insurance. You Either you need to take an extra dental insurance for that, or you go for the private health insurance. So the private health insurance also covers such mm -hmm. dental insurances. When you are looking for an appointment with public health insurance, then you might need to wait a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. I have personally not faced this situation myself, but I have read it that with private health insurances, you get the appointments even faster. The public, you might need to wait two or three days, but with the private, you will get the appointment immediately today or tomorrow. Mm. So that is one advantage. Okay. Uh, disadvantage is that sometimes private health insurance don't uh, pay immediately when you go to the hospital. So suppose you go to the hospital and you need to pay the doctor after your visit. Mm. Then you have to pay from your pocket and then the private health insurance company will uh, refund you. And you have to send them your bill and then they, they will refund you that amount. So okay. this might be disadvantage for some people who don't have uh, money in their bank account. And also and for the emergency situation, it will be also difficult. Huh? Yeah, and for also emergency, that might be difficult. Mm. But I'm not sure if that is the case for all the private health insurance. So definitely research yourself before moving to private health insurance and also sometimes uh, it's difficult 
to move back to public health insurance once you are registered with a private health insurance. Mm. So before apply, you have to search. Yeah. So before mm. registering in a private health insurance, do your own research and then only get that. So what are the most popular public health insurance and uh, private health insurance? So the two most popular health insurance that I know is the AOKA, AOK and TK. So those two are the most popular public health insurance. Okay. And for private health insurance, there are a lot of them. So I cannot name them. For student, uh, I think there was a company called Mavista. But it was a long time ago, so I'm not sure right now how it is. And you just need to do a check on website like Check24. And mm. these, these websites offer to compare different insurances they cost and monthly so what is included in the private health insurance and public health insurance the public health insurance covers most of the things that a person might need to remain healthy it covers any kind of doctor visit any kind of operation any kind of emergency situation mm. what it does not cover is the dental part most of the time mm. i have seen it so as I already mentioned, it sometimes doesn't cover the extra dental operation more that you might need an extra dental insurance. Mm. And uh, this public health insurance, you might to need to wait a little bit longer to get an appointment for the doctor. Mm. And with, uh, with the private health insurance, it also covers everything. Uh, and also you can choose what do you want it to cover and what do you do not want it to cover. So mm. they have different plans basis, comfort, uh, something like that. So they also have options to select the number of beds in a hospital. So suppose you are in, go to a hospital and you should get admitted. Mm -hmm. And in that case, you can also choose the number of beds that you want to have in the same room while you are admitted. Mm -hmm. So they have different plans like two beds in the room or more single bed in oh, the room. We like, can choose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those things also are choosable with the private health insurance. Okay. Uh, but then also then the, you have to pay more for it mm. depending upon the your, depending upon your choices. Okay. Uh, and also it covers the dental part also. That is one extra thing that it covers. And uh, one more extra thing is that we we get the appointments uh, faster with the private health insurance. If a person has a um, public health insurance then after that also they, they can take the private health insurance is that possible no it's not possible uh, you either take the public or the private one so you cannot have both of them together okay. but you can choose an extra insurance with the public for example like the dental insurance so okay. there's one additional insurance on top of the public if you want a full coverage plan, that then you have to uh, change to completely to private health insurance. So, mm. But you cannot take both of them together. So for people who are coming to Germany with short time visa or tourist visa, if they need to go to the doctors, what kind of insurance they have to take? It? For People who are coming in tourist visa or short time visa, they need a travel health insurance when they plan to travel to Germany and while applying visa only, they have to show it. Okay. So that insurance covers these kind of things. Okay. So yeah, they definitely need it for more than three months period. Mm. So on the whole period for which they will be here in Germany. So for the complete period, they need to take a travel health insurance. Okay. And that will cover the complete duration for which they will be here. So they okay. need to show to the doctor that they have this international health insurance, mm. and travel health insurance, and they should cover the expenses in case they need to go to a doctor. Okay. So uh, if a student want to come to Germany, then they have to also take uh, this type of health insurance, travel health insurance first. Yeah, first they have to take the travel health insurance while applying for the visa in India. Okay. And before and after coming to Germany, sometimes they also ask with the flight ticket. They mm -hmm. want to see the health insurance. Mm -hmm. And once they are here in Germany, then they can apply for the normal health insurance. Okay. So most of the people come from uh, foreign country. Uh, we can take a person who 
came from India and once in a year he just uh, went back to India. They talked to their doctors and bring some medicine with them and uh, after that they thought why we need to pay every month um, for health insurance because uh, I have all the medicines and I won't get sick. It's a waste of money. So why we need to pay every month for this health insurance? What is your advice to them? Yeah, so if somebody might think like that, but uh, anybody might fall sick anytime. Anybody <laughs> can have accident anytime. Okay. And when you are living in this place, so it's and you should follow the rules also. So if they are asking if you have health insurance, you should definitely have one and also you won't be able to extend your visa without having a health insurance. So that's not an option to not have a health insurance if you want to live here. So now it's a very common question I'm going to ask you that a person has a health insurance and private or public so he or she didn't get sick the whole year and they didn't go to any doctors or hospitals so will he or she get that whole money back is that possible no so <laughs> i haven't heard of it so even if you don't go to the doctor you won't get your health insurance contribution back uh, so that's uh, definitely a no <laughs> <laughs> so you should go to the doctor i would say uh, otherwise some other people are using your own health insurance so i would say definitely go to the doctor as much <laughs> as possible so that's all we want to share with you about this whole insurance uh, health insurance process uh, in germany so if you have any question you can ask me on my comment sections and uh, don't forget to like comment share and please subscribe my channel see you on my next video till then bye